Steve Jobs made the first iPhone, which was the combination of the iPod and a phone. And he predicted that there would be apps for everything, where, e where you would be able to do everything and never have to leave your phone. Then he said, I'm going to make a bigger screen when he created the iPad. After he made those things, he wouldn't allow his daughter to use them. He wouldn't allow his grandchildren to have them. Ain't that crazy? He said because he wanted his kids to communicate and have human interaction. He said, and these devices were designed to limit that. But the smartphone was created to distract us from human interaction and make us more and more comfortable with AI. Was it not Elon Musk that said that artificial intelligence is going to turn on us one day and the machines are going to become self-aware? He said that before he bought Twitter and before he became the richest man on earth and now everything that he does is about artificial intelligence. I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI, and I think we should. This is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive. Um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. He warned us, and now that's all he's doing. He dressed up like Azazel for Halloween. With Baphomet and an upside down cross. But that's what it was created for. Distract us from human interaction. Man, you can say stuff on text that you wouldn't dare say in person. Well, yeah, yeah, you can get comfortable in situations with people via text. And you wouldn't be that comfortable if it was a physical meeting. There's a difference. There's a difference when you don't have that person's energy around. Some folk get real tough on the internet. No, they ain't, they ain't gonna come around and say it. Oh, but they'll do the drive-by post. Drive-by. Just gonna say it and then split. Yeah, because you gotta deal with a person's energy. And a lot of times, just the respect of their energy will keep you from saying certain things. Amen. Amen. That's why you got to be careful and monitor your children and their behavior online. Amen. What they're posting and saying. They don't need to be posting your family business online. They don't need to be filming your house and putting it online. They be done showed something you didn't want the world wide web to see.